Hi there, it's Chris Barrow and uh, I'm talking to you from the British Dental Association Annual Conference 2011. We're here in the amazing uh, GMEX Conference Centre in Manchester. Great occasion for me because this is my home patch. I'm from Manchester originally and in fact this conference centre is inside what used to be a railway station. When I was a kid my dad used to bring me here and watch steam trains coming in and out. How's about that? Now, uh, off with the nostalgia and on with the conference. Um, what I wanted to do was to share with you, I think, my five takeaways from the conference so far. We're about halfway through, a day and a half in, and uh, as always, I've been taking the pulse. What have I been hearing? Number one, I have been hearing negativity. Uh, and it strikes me that there are people here who just want to talk about what's wrong with British dentistry. The BMWs, the bitches, moaners and whiners are here. Uh, this seems to be a place that they come to hang out. Now, please don't get me wrong, I'm not having a go at the BDA. I'm talking about some of the people that are showing up here and they want to whinge and moan about HGMO 105, about the Care Quality Commission, about snow, volcanic ash and bank holidays and royal weddings and recession. So once we've dealt with the BMWs, the bitches, moaners and whiners, and we kind of boxed them off to one side, we can talk about what the real debate is on the conference floor. Now, the hot to trot issue is tooth whitening, dental directory, and all that gossip that's been going on here. By the time you watch this video blog, the chances are that that debate will have moved on. Uh, and so I'm not going to deal with that subject in any context right now. Uh, but certainly everybody's talking about tooth whitening and the legality of advertising and delivery. Thirdly, uh, I've been wandering around the trade floor and I've been asking them how things are. By and large, what the trade are telling me is that the conference is quiet for them. I don't think people are coming along to the conference to pick and choose equipment. I don't think necessarily they're coming along to buy professional services. They are simply coming along to really take the pulse of what the, the conversation is like on the conference floor. Uh, number four, I'm going to pay tribute to the conference facilities here in Manchester. My understanding is that the BDA conference will be back here again in 2012. I'm absolutely delighted that on a personal basis because it means that I don't have to stay in a hotel. But I'm also delighted because the Greater Manchester Exhibition and Conference Centre is just fabulous. I did a, a session yesterday with Do uh, James Hamill from Blue Apple Dental. We spoke to over 500 young dentists about their career pathways going forward and the facilities were out of this world and that brings me to my fifth and final point and I want to end on a very positive note uh, I was in an auditorium yesterday with over 500 young dentists and I've been stopped by and spoken to by young dentists in this conference and you know what they seem to be the custodians of optimism in the profession at the moment there are people talking to me about setting up their own practices there are people talking to me about joining corporates or retailers as a career pathway going forward and young dentists in this conference are approaching the future with an a very very optimistic attitude about the career possibilities that are open to them going forward so I leave this conf conference with a huge degree of optimism about the future of British dentistry provided it's in the right hands and that's the hands of the young people who are looking to the future so thank you that's my report from the conference floor